So what would happen if we would be outside the European Monetary Union? If we, were, if we wouldn't have the European Monetary Union, yeah. if we wouldn't be within the European Monetary Union, Italy would depreciate its currency. A depreciation of its currency would mean that workers' wages in Italy would be relatively less valuable compared to wages in Germany. And Italy could possibly regenerate its competitiveness. However, that comes at a price. And the price is the traded goods in Italy will become relatively more expensive. So in the longer run, depreciation is not really the solution. And it cannot be the solution within a European Monetary Union. So that is the key. This graph is the key problem which we are having in Europe at the moment. We have a divergence in competitiveness, which is induced through labor market reforms we saw in Germany from the mid-1990s onward, and a lack of labor market and institutional reforms in countries like Italy, Greece, definitely, but also France. Okay? So the strain that this puts on the European project, of course, is tremendous. So how do we address that? Well, one way would be to decrease competitiveness in Germany. That is what, um, uh, what, uh, the, the, what is her name? La, 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 um, la, la, the, I, I'm not French. So help me out here. The IMF. Lagarde. Lagarde suggested a number of times that Germany should have more wage inflation. Why is she saying that? Well, that would decrease the relative competitiveness of Germany compared to other countries. But remember the first graph I showed you. This would also decrease the competitiveness of Germany with respect to China and the world outside the European Monetary Union. So the question here about fixing the competitiveness within Europe by wage inflation of Germany and bringing basically Germany up here would not solve the problem which we have in international markets. So let me just conclude with um, 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 something. So, so, so this wedge puts a huge pressure on countries like Italy, France, and Greece, and some other countries, to implement institutional and labor market reforms which they were unable to implement over the last one and a half decades. Now, I see the European Monetary Union as a straitjacket on these countries, which helps these countries to implement reforms which will make Europe, in the longer run, competitive with the rest of the world. I believe if countries like Italy, France, and Greece would be outside the European Monetary Union, what we would see is a depreciation of their currencies and an implementation of these labor market reforms and institutional reforms, which I believe are absolutely necessary, perhaps in one decade or one and a half decades. Now, at that point, the economic capacity of these countries would have dramatically deteriorated, and the price of fixing institutions and making the labor markets more competitive would be much higher than it is at the moment. Thank you.